So today we're gonna to be harvesting the seeds from my butterfly weed plant here. Now it's early November in Southern Ontario and this plant has finally gone to seed. It's actually one of the latest plants in all of my gardens that has gone to seed. So just be patient if you're hoping to collect the seeds to share with friends or perhaps to put in other spots in your garden. So what you're looking for is that the seed pods will go from green to reddish or brown, they'll dry out a bit and then they'll start opening up and releasing their seeds. And that's when you know that they're ready. So I'm going to give you a close-up of that now, show you what the seeds look like, and give you some tips along the way. Here's a close-up of one of the seed pods. It's actually just opened and is ready to let its seeds go. You can see that there's some already coming out. And that's the trick. If you want to collect the seeds to grow in specific spots in your yard or to share them, you want to catch them after the seed pods have opened, but then before the wind takes them away. So you can see some in the back there too. So I'm going to clip off these two seed pods and then I'm going to expect that I'm probably going to be taking the rest of them within the next day or two. Before you manipulate this plant at all, you will want to wear some gloves. Now this is a poisonous plant for humans and all animals to eat. But interestingly, that's the feature that makes butterflies poisonous to bigger creatures. So just to make sure that I don't get anything on my face or hands, uh, if I touch my face, I'm going to be wearing my gloves. So to remove the seed pods, I'm going to take my scissors and clip just below the seed pod. And I'm going to pull it up, open it up, and then hold on to the seeds here and try my best to remove all the cotton, cottony material without losing the seeds. If I lose a seed here or there, I'm not too worried about that. They will just all fly away in the wind. So I tried this in my house recently while I was practicing for this video and I made a huge mess. So if you have any kids around or animals that you might think might eat it, you might want to try this outside. Here is a close up of the butterfly weed seeds. You can see that they're flat and they're teardrop shaped. And you can see that they're about five millimeters long and three millimeters across. And this is about 110 seeds that I got from two of the pods for my plant. So that's harvesting butterfly weed seed. You can plant the seeds in a sunny spot in your garden these are super drought resistant plants. So you can put them in a spot that might get lots of heat in the summer and super dry conditions and they'll probably do really, really well. If you decide that you want to plant the seeds in the springtime, you will want to stratify the seeds first. And that just means that the seeds go through the same kind of conditions that they would if they had been planted in the fall. So cold, cold winter like conditions, wet, damp spring like conditions. And I can put a link of how to do that in the description of this video. I also did a video of the plant while it was in bloom, so I'll put a link to that in the end of the video as well. I hope you found this video interesting. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.